The old coot here coming back at you with another exciting video comparing Fernet Branca to Branca Menta. I wanted to do this in less than 60 seconds, but I don't think it's going to happen. Let's see how far we get. Fernet Branca on the nose, very bitter, very astringent. You're getting in a percentage of 100 on the nose, you're getting eucalyptus first, pine and menthol kind of second. But in a percentage of 100, that's like 99% of what you're getting on the nose. On the taste, on the palate, what you're getting is very bitter, 99% bitter to maybe 1% sweet if there's any sweetness at all that you do pick up. But in the flavor profile, it's definitely, I would say 90% is a good mix of eucalyptus, menthol, and pine. And the menthol that you're getting here is peppermint, bitter peppermint. That's what you're getting. Okay, Branca Menta, on the other hand, is all of that plus a little bit more of the good mint or you're getting more of that good mint, that spearmint, that sweet spearmint taste. So on the nose, what you're picking up is menthol mint, but you're starting to get that good spearmint kind of vibe going. And then what you're getting is you're getting the eucalyptus and you're also getting the pine. Okay, when you taste it, what you're getting is you're getting, I would say, 50% mint menthol, and it's I think it's attributed to that spearmint that's in there. So on the bittersweet scale, you're maybe 51% bitter, 50% sweet, you know, 49% sweet, something like that. And then that last 50% in a percentage of 100 of taste and flavor, you're definitely getting the eucalyptus and you're getting the pine. So to quickly compare, this one is going to be bitter by, I would, say, I would say in a ratio of 100, of 100% bitter to sweet, this is 99% bitter, maybe 1% sweet. This one is maybe 51% sweet and 49% bitter. It's very subtle. You will still taste the bitterness as much as you're tasting the sweetness. Okay, the eucalyptus and pine notes that are going on, I would say here you taste more of the eucalyptus and pine because there's no sugar to kind of cut through it and there's less or no of that spearmint, that sweet spearmint that would kind of offset the eucalyptus and pine. Here, I would say you're getting kind of that same eucalyptus and pine action going on, but with the Branca Menta, because there's that spearmint in there, that sweet spearmint, at least it's what I think that's in there, now all of a sudden the mint and the menthol are being pushed higher in that percentage of 100, followed closely by the eucalyptus and the pine. My notes from the other videos were, please sip this. If, if it's your first time trying it, if you're going to do a flight of Amari or Amaro and you start getting into the Fernets and you want to explore both of these or either one of these, neat or on the rocks in a rocks glass, if you can, try to throw in a splash of like mineral water, San Pellegrino, club soda, whatever you want to put in there, just to take the alcohol bite off of it and allow your palate to taste more of the of the eucalyptus, pine, menthol, mint, spearmint, peppermint kind of flavors that are in there. I would sip, taste it. The more you taste it, the more you'll like it, the more you'll want to experience it. If it's not for you, it's not for you. I'm not going to push anybody to take this or drink this or whatever. With that being said, please drink responsibly. And with that being said, this is 39% alcohol by volume. That's the Fernet Branca. This one is 30% alcohol by volume. This happens to be the Branca Menta. I'm not sponsored by any of these companies. I pay for this stuff on my own. This is April 2024. But, you know, just, just mentioning this, you know, if Fernet Branca wants to reach out to me, you know, and talk about some sponsorship partnership opportunities or whatever, I'm all for it, you know, just just throwing it out there. You know, I'm I'm definitely willing <laughs> to entertain the idea. Sam Pellegrino, same thing. If you want to reach out to me for some sponsorship partnership opportunities, I'm all for it. When do I have these? What are they good for? When are they good? That kind of stuff. Yes. <laughs> the answer is yes. Smelling them, either one of them appetizes me, right? It it's I will eat or devour whatever's in front of me because it it makes my mouth salivate and water and I want to enjoy whatever it is I'm eating. As a digestivo, either with dinner or lunch or after dinner or lunch, what I'm getting from either one of these is usually I tend to get a little of an astringent kind of a feeling in the mouth, right? And then it's good for digestion. I would say within an hour of eating a very large meal, like pizza, pasta, some kind of seafood dish or a meat dish or whatever, usually within an hour, I'm hungry all over again. 
This also happens to be one of those things. If you know, then you know. But if you know, then you know. It's also called the bartender's handshake, which means basically it's one way for a bartender starting their shift to greet, say hello, give a handshake to the bartender that's leaving for the night as a way of saying, hey, I recognize your service on the one side. The other side is, hey, you're about to go into battle. I salute you. And basically it's their way of recognizing each other and saying, hey, let's all have a good night. Be responsible, drink responsible, be entertaining, be entertained. You kind of get the idea. So anyways, with that being said, might as well drop this in the middle. If you want to enjoy these, please sip especially for the first time tasting or trying them or enjoying them, please sip. You'll get a much more pleasant experience than just doing a straight shot. But if you're a more experienced palate, you've been having these a while and you want to do shots of these, more power to you. By the way, just April 2024 pricing and all that good stuff. Total wine, oh, it's like kittens in tears and not having room for jello. They discontinued carrying the Branca Menta. I think they can still reorder it. But I, I am just bummed that they don't like carry it as part of their normal offering, especially at all of the Total Wine locations that are at least within the Los Angeles area. I think you can still get Fernet Branca, the original one, like in kind of limited quantities here and there. But if you have to go to Mission Wine and Spirits, they've got you covered all day long. They've got the Branca Menta. They've got the Fernet Branca. They've even got these little sample sizes. You might have to go to the Pasadena store. Or if you're really, really nice to your Mission Wine and Spirits staff that's in your local part of town or whatever and ask for it nicely, they may be able to ship it in just for you. Just saying, you know offering that out there anyways i will put some links to some bartending stuff tools and all that good stuff down there below so make sure to check that out also there's some links to some pretty cool other stuff down there in the description hit that like button hit that subscribe button i'm the old coot i hope this video helps you to decide fernet bronca versus bronca menta which choice is the right choice for you bitter sweet you still get alcohol pine and menthol in both of them does that make sense? I hope so. Anyways, catch you on the next exciting video.